first of all we need to group so let's create one um, right now dependency proxy feature works only for public groups so we make group from link next step is enable dependency proxy so we just reach a toggle press save changes and we get the url we need for current group we can use this url now to pull docker images Now we can use this URL in the terminal. Let's pull Alpine Docker image to see if it works. Okay, as you see, the request was successful, but I have Alpine image locally on my machine. So let's try Ruby one. Oh, it also exists locally in my machine. Let's try an older version. Two Yes, I don't have this one. Okay, so you see that some of the blobs already exist on my machine, but there are a few missing, and it downloads it right from GitLab URL. What happens under the hood is that GitLab makes a request to the Docker Hub and loads all necessary blobs. And then it saves those blobs to the GitLab storage. Now, next time the same image is requested or different image with same blobs, it will serve those blobs from GitLab storage instead of downloading it from the Docker Hub. Okay, let's, let's try uh, another image, maybe Ubuntu. Now, if we'll take a look at the UI, we'll see that there is a visual statistic showing how many blobs and what is the size of the cache for this particular group. That's all for the demo. Thank you for watching.